Hello everyone and welcome back to Equinox where our beautiful little forest has continued to spread. Look at that, we actually have ferns now. We have ferns and we have beautiful buttercups, we have heather, we have got beautiful tulips and somewhere scattered amongst the baby boars are roses. I can't believe how amazing this is. And what color can we make the roses? I didn't even check last time. We can have white roses, yellow roses, orange roses. I'm gonna pretend those orange roses are totally gold. In fact, let's go ahead and we're gonna buy that right now. And uh, well, how old are you? Okay, it's a very young rose. So let's actually buy this yellow color maybe? Let's buy the orange color and kind of pretend they are like beautiful golden roses. But this is just so much fun. I can't believe how much our little world has just propagated all over over the place and it is starting to look a little different in other locations as well my wheat interestingly enough has not spread very far over here like I thought it would we have a couple patches of it but the chickens don't seem that inclined to leave their usual roost we still have pretty much the same small population of duck they don't seem too inclined to spread too far we have a few of our purple trout still I'm a little worried that their population is isn't doing very good. Uh, they they have zero disliked species, but they don't really have a very suitable biome. So maybe if I add a few more seaweed pieces, because I really want these little ones to flourish. Oh, now they're super happy. There we go. Yeah, they just needed a little bit more food. They just needed a little bit more food. That's so fantastic, because I really love the fact that we have got uh, purple of all things, purple trout, which just naturally mutated in our little pond. Speaking of natural mutations, do we still have our, we do the blue water lilies that mutated over here. Look, our world is starting to get more complex and we now have fireflies. Oh, that's so cool. I love this, I love this, I love this. Especially because, my friends, we are closing in. Are you guys ready for this? We are getting closer and closer to, well, apparently tomato plants. Huzzah, huzzah, we've got tomato plants. But we're also getting closer and closer to guinea pigs. We are on our way to the woodland biome. We need to get four oregano in the world and then we will have little guinea pigs running around. How exciting is that? Oh my gosh, I am really, really, really looking forward to that. And I'm glad to see that our wobbly tree continues to do okay. They really don't like spreading around the place, do they? They're they're a little bit stubborn to say the least. Uh, but all right, so we are trying to get some oregano. That's gonna need some dark mud green grass tufts, which I started down here a while ago. And it's gonna need some mushrooms. Apparently it needs like a whole bunch of mushrooms nearby. So our wheat field has just been invaded by a bunch of button mushrooms, which by the way, to evolve these freaking mushrooms is going to be so hard. Swamp, jungle, tropical area, like it's gonna be quite the doozy to actually get these changed. Um, can I actually change the color of the mushrooms now though? It'd be kind of cool to have like yellow, green or red mushrooms spreading with the wheat field. So you know what, I'm actually gonna spend a bunch on red mushrooms and just see if that one spreads over time. And for the oregano, boom, we can already go ahead and get started. There's new color grass spreading around here. It's so much fun to do the selective breeding and then come back and see if things are still going. Like we still have the brown water lilies that mutated hanging out over here. But what about the trout? Can I make the trout like a really interesting color that we haven't seen yet? What about orange trout? Or like yellow trout? I kind of love that idea. We already have pink. Oh, wow. I just realized guys, the purple trout don't even show up. Look, you can't even select purple trout. What? Can you select the brown water lilies or is that something? You cannot select the brown water lilies. This is something completely like on its own that has happened. That is amazing. What about these trout? What if I added like orange trout? I guess you could kind of like say how orange you want your trout, but you can't, there, so there are rare mutations that show up that are just gonna be completely separate from anything you can even pick. No wonder it gives you that little update and it's like, hey, you've got a really, really rare mutation. Take care of it. Purple trout, <laughs> purple trout, come here. I'm gonna transplant one of your babies. 
Uh, let's grab this guy. And I'm gonna move you over here because I just realized how rare you are. Poor little thing, he's all flopping about. All right, are you gonna be happy there? Yeah, actually, much happier. All right, and then, um, I mean, remove seems kind of cruel, so I'll just leave it be, but I hope the purple trout will take root here. And speaking of taking root, I think we need to put down a few more seaweed because we had some hungry little ducklings just stop by. Oh no, the evolving has paused in our oregano because the grass has died. Whoa, look at how quickly those red mushrooms have started to spread about. And is our wheat still the large wheat? Yes, it is the bigger than average wheat. All right, we're almost there on the oregano though. Like we could just sit here for a second and we're gonna have oregano pop up. Uh, maybe I should change the color of these sheep because it's, oh, there we go. We now have oregano, you guys. Is it happy here? I think it's happy here. What does it want out of life? Oh, it wants a woodland biome. You are not gonna be happy here. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We're going to pick up that oregano and we're going to move our very, very first little oregano seed all the way across our growing land and plunk it down. Boom. Is that a woodland biome actually? No, it's not. Oh no. Transplanted again. The poor fragile thing. This is a woodland biome. Boom. Phew. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a woodland biome. Oregano, are you happy? Oh, the oregano is ridiculously happy. And we have roses spreading. I don't see any golden roses yet. AKA the, the like yellow. Oh, wait there. That's so cool. Oh guys, this is so much fun. I love just popping back after being away for a little while and things have changed. Should we make like, let's make some dark green oak trees. And what about the rosemary? Can we evolve it? Oh, we could evolve it into sage if it had forest trees. So let's try to find a rosemary near some forest trees. Like over here? Is it near? And now it needs some stones. Yeah, let's evolve it into some sage because that sounds like it's kind of important. All right, we'll make like a little cluster. We'll make this like a little stone spot. So maybe the sage and there, that's really cool looking actually. I really like that you can make like a little, um, just a little cluster of rocks there. I can't wait till we can unlock the guinea pig and all the other animals. <laughs> it's gonna be so nice. Uh, and then let's go ahead, are brown mushrooms okay in the forest? They like the grassland. This is like forest forest, right? Yeah, this is forest forest. Let's put down some mushrooms, brown mushroom. And then I'm actually gonna change, oh, that apple tree died. Uh, old age gets us all, I suppose. I'm gonna change the color of this mushroom. Eventually we'll want like purple, but let's just go with a lighter natural color for now. And then let's grab this rosemary and start unlocking the sage. There we go. All right, and now that that is spreading over there and we have new colors on our beautiful, beautiful roses. Can I change anything about the buttercups? I could make them snapdragons if we had small herbivores nearby. You guys know what this means, right? Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is, by the way. Oh, it's so pretty. I am so proud of this. And I actually want to spread like these, these red birch trees or some of the maple trees around. Are the maple tree, oh, the little maple tree is so not happy down here. Get up here then. I think you need to be in a higher, yeah, it just needed to be in a higher altitude. All right, come on, little red maple tree. I think we've only got like one maple tree away. Oh, never mind. I guess I already completed that. Oh, a species has evolved into some wild sage. Yay, and we've got roses over here. Are you gonna be happy here, wild sage? I think so. It likes barren land, grassland, and forest, and it likes stones and grasses. So it should have lots of liked species nearby. Uh, oh, is it too far from a grass? Hmm. Well, I'm not putting grass grass down over here. Does wild mint count? Wild mint likes to be in a grassland. So we'll, we're just going to have to hope that this little sage will hold in there. Uh, but all right. So let's see. Oregano, where are you? Did you spread? Did you die? I see Heather. Look, our beautiful, beautiful roses. Oh, I love this. What about the Heather? The Heather is just ha so happy down here. Can we change the color of the Heather? Um, ooh, to like, maybe like orange Heather or white Heather or cyan Heather. We could, but we're gonna wait on that because 
Uh, it's kind of expensive and we have other things I should be doing. Why is this so unhappy? The altitude is the wrong. So the rosemary can't handle being at such a low altitude, it seems. Is this an oak tree? No, that's a sycamore. Sycamore elm. Okay, we got the apple every day task. Where did all my oregano go? Who knows? Thankfully, we can buy more. <laughs> It'd be really hard if you got like locked in with just what you, you evolved. Because there's- Oh, my tomato plant! I totally forgot we have tomatoes. Now, where on earth is my oregano? That should be like one of the early ones, right? Oh, here it is. All right, yeah, oregano, woodland biome. This is a very wonderful woodland. It should be very, very happy here. It's, it can come down next to the rosemary. One, two, three. All right, oregano. Come, prosper. Be overjoyed about your life and how delicious you are. There's not much I can do with you, apparently. Just watch you grow. Can't even change the color. Maybe you're just delicious as you are. And then once that- Oh, we need one more oregano! And once we have four oregano, we unlock the guinea pig! We're only seconds away from unlocking the guinea pig! <gasps> okay, dunna, 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 na 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 We have unlocked the guinea pig! <laughs> Small herbivores who love the grassland, forest, and woodland. They also love fallen fruit, vegetables, nuts, fruit bushes, herbs, and grasses. Come on in, little guinea pigs! Oh my gosh! Our very first little guinea pigs! Look at them go! Oh, they're even squeeing like guinea pigs! I am so happy right now! Hello, Johnny! I am gonna name you Gwendolyn after my future guinea pig. So, Gwendolyn, welcome! You just ate that up like nothing. Gwendolyn and Jack. I actually like the name Jack. They're eating the rosemary. They are really eating everything! Holy cow! And now we're panicking and running in circles. This is so cute. Gwendolyn, you're adorable. And we can evolve Gwendolyn into a squirrel if we have dark orange coloration and nuts. And we can evolve Gwendolyn into a- or like we can selectively breed, keeping in mind this is nothing like, you know, the real life evolution of these animals, but it's a fun sort of play on the concepts. Uh, if we had an ash tree, we could get rabbits, which is really cool. Uh, and if we had I really want squirrels. I love squirrels too. So let's see. How, Gwendolyn, what can I do with you, my little dear? We can increase the speed! We can make really, really big capy- or like guinea pigs and call them a capybara. Or we can make really tiny ones. And I can make them gold! Now my life feels so complete. Oh my gosh. And if we make them dark orange, then we can have squirrels. Gwendolyn, you are about to be the mother of squirrels. Let's do it. Dark orange. Let's buy that. Where's our other guinea pig? Johnny, come here. All right, we'll come over. Or Jack, excuse me. And we'll make sure that his children, too, shall be dark orange. There we go. And let's see if we get some guinea pig babies. Look at him go! Oh! And let's actually look to see what it would take to put down the tomato plant. Where does it want to be? Grassland and woodland! Below 15 meters. Ooh, that might be a little... Okay, so down here we can have- Oh my gosh! There's a baby! There's already a baby! Yeah, guinea pigs don't really waste any time when it comes to breeding. Fluffy, welcome! And Fluffy just devastated that rosemary. Uh, we better put down some more fruiting plants. So let's put down a tomato. So here's our tomato. And it can turn into a berry bush if we get it pink. Oh my goodness. Okay, to the pink tomatoes. Uh, as soon as I can. Let's speed up. Hopefully they won't eat it before- No, they're gonna eat it! <laughs> Jack! Jack, let it- give it a second. Oh my gosh, how many babies? You guys, we just had so many baby guinea pigs. Um, I might want to come in and what did they eat? We just had another Gwendolyn! <laughs> she is having so many babies. Uh, we definitely probably want to get maybe more apple trees. And we probably want to get some more fruits and nuts and herbs and grasses because, wow, my guinea pigs are just going to have lots of babies. They're spreading like like, like you would expect guinea pigs to spread very, very quickly. Uh, but this is so cute. They are really devastating my forest now. 
I think we need to hurry and get that fruiting bush ASAP because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. But all right, guys, look at this. It is the night of guinea pigs. Fluffy is already almost full grown and so is Maddie. And we're, we've got their tiny little squeeing. I am so happy. And we can try to turn them into squirrels once we manage to get some nuts in here. I'm not sure how we're gonna manage nuts. Oh, by turning a sycamore into a nut tree. <laughs> So, all right, we have our new path for selectively breeding. We have some adorable little guinea pigs. I kind of want to put down another population of them over here and make them a different color and then to see how the little populations spread. We still need to make our boars happy. So I'm thinking maybe this has finally gotten big enough that our boars would be happy over here. But we've got a lot more work to do. I really want to turn this into a forest. And I think as we continue to unlock things, and my chickens are finally starting to spread, we will be able to really grow the world and start seeing it turn into an amazing, diverse place that is constantly changing with the slightest little tweak. Ah, oh, this is just so beautiful. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, please leave a like to support our growing population of guinea pigs. And if you have not yet done so, do please consider subscribing to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.